In this video, we will discuss about how to revise effectively for Indian Economic Service Examination. This way, we will discuss five important points. Number one, consolidate all the notes into summarize revisionable notes. What does it mean? It means it's very simple. If you see why we make handwritten notes so that we can do the revision effectively. But when we talk about revision, revision is the key. Generally, people don't know how to revise it. Let me tell you, let me decode it. First of all, simply, if you just read for the first time any text, everything is new to you. What exactly you need to do is, you need to make crisp and short form of that content. So suppose, for example, you are reading a chapter of 10 pages. And if you make the 10 pages notes as well, it's just the repetition. It means you're writing another book. That's not notes making. What is notes making is, if you are reading certain content, your notes should be one tenth of that. So if you're reading a chapter of 10 pages, your notes should be in one single page. Second thing, why we make notes? Because that saves our time. So notes should always be in terms of bullet points, never be in paragraph because bullet points give us highlight so that we recall the whole story that we have read in that chapter and then we'll be able to replicate it. And third thing, which is very vital, generally all the people miss irrespective of the competitive examination. But here I'm talking about Indian economic services specifically. When you start preparing, you are very excited, you are motivated. You think that everything is going nice and fine. But ever since you enter into the preparation, it's ever widening. It's like the syllabus is increasing day by day, widening day by day. Those who are able to consolidate it, it means close that. They are able to do the focused learning, they qualify the exam. That is what Ecoholics has given in last five to seven years, 80% of the result in this exam. The reason is very simple. Those who are able to consolidate, they qualify the exam. So irrespective of what the new text that you are reading, try consolidating your preparation with your revisionary notes as soon as possible. Number two, whenever we are preparing for this examination, it's very important to give the weightage according to the topic. Generally, people see mechanical format of this. What does it mean? It means we give equal amount of attention to every subject, every topic. But if you see the PYQ, if you see the syllabus, if you consult with the mentors at eColleagues, if you listen to my videos or you read anything about this examination, you will find that some of the topics are having high weightage and some of the topics are having not that much of weightage. So always calculate the cost benefit analysis of your effort into the output. Like for example, if we say four papers of economics or 200 marks each, but if you see one paper dominated by microeconomics, that is general economics paper one, and paper four, that is Indian economics, dominated by Indian economy, it means two subjects, micro and Indian economy, consist of approximately 40% of the total given syllabus. It means that if you give equal amount of weightage to all the topics, you will struggle to qualify this examination. So always be remember, that according to the syllabus, according to the PYQs, and the third thing is, according to your strength and weak areas, you have to allot the topics, their due time and the effort. Number three is solving questions. Now, what we need to do is, just reading will not give the selection. What we need is to practice the questions as well. So if you see previous year question papers, if you see mock tests, if you give those mock tests, you will realize what is important and what is not important. Now, whenever we are solving questions, it's very important to analyze those as well. Generally, people read questions and write it and they forget. But if you do not analyze your performance in your mock test, if you do not do the auditing of your answer copy, what kind of feedback that I'm receiving from the evaluator, what kind of correction that I need to make, where exactly I'm making mistake, whether I'm writing introduction, whether I'm writing body, conclusion, my flow is not good, my handwriting can be improved, uh, I should divide my answer into paragraphs. There are so many things to cater in terms of solving test. So instead of giving more time in more tests, I would recommend you to give more time to analyze those tests. 
prefer giving a full test for three hours at least analyze it for six hours that will give you more insight about yourself and your content in terms of any other activity number four is graphs and numericals now this paper is all about economics in particular they test on each every, every aspect of economics economics is incomplete without graphical representation even if the question they are not asking the graph but if you write or make graph in your answer it will give you more value and it will fetch you more marks if i talk about practicing graph it is very important to make your habit of making graphs with the help of pen because in examination we do not use pencil you know pencil is not like it can be erased so use pen that is a minimal nib pen so that you can use the space more effectively second thing when we talk about graphical representation it should come naturally so it means you have to practice a lot of time you have to practice multiple times the same graph so whenever that will come in the examination center your graph should be on top of your head you don't have to think and make it and that is where you save time so graphical representation is practicing practice a lot especially the graphs like in market structure in microeconomics in international economics there's so many graph variety of graph that can be confusing so practicing multiple times is important second thing in this practicing numericals because generally derivation numericals portions in econometrics and mathematical economics these are monotonous in nature generally people lose interest while reading and while revising and that is where your interest comes into the picture when we are reading microeconomics do not see those numbers in isolation always integrate some theoretical knowledge to that so that this makes interesting and it's easy to recall in the examination hall because when you are writing the answers in the examination hall you know you are getting all the thoughts haphazardly but your brain should work as like a filter so that whatever haphazardly coming into your mind should be uh, come out as a structured flow of the answer and that is where you gain more marks in comparison to the other always remember my dear student this examination all about relativity you have to do better than others you don't have to be the best out of the lot but you have to do better than others you qualify this exam number 5 is focus on current affairs and integrating the static topic with the current events generally people think that question is not asking anything about current but if you give current affairs examples in your answer the examiner will think that this person is well aware about the current events going on and that is where you gain extra marks so even if they are not asking any current affairs you write one example about it it will be very easy to get more marks generally people read the economics in isolation in comparison to the current events for example if i talk about rupee depreciation repo rate hike if you just give small small examples of those impact recent repo rate policy decision what is the current rupee depreciation what rbi is doing to that will fetch some more extra marks imagine that one extra marks in each and every question 20 questions will fetch you 20 marks and 20 marks you know make it or break it so always remember that integrating these five modules will help you in getting a better score in this examination that's it from my side all the best for this examination if you have any question queries and concerns you can comment in the comment section thank you so much have a nice day